Hello everyone, this is Subsistence, and we're gonna try to take another crack at it. Well, we're not gonna restart or anything. With, um, I guess I'm probably never gonna be too comfortable. I think I see a crate. <laughs> but it's about time we actually make this base unit or whatever it's base command unit. I want those hunters to be spawned. Let's see what they are all about. Now, I've gathered some resources, we have enough, uh, it's kind of the daytime and we should be foraging, but I do want to see what's uh, with, um, well, not what with the, I want to craft the base unit, plant it, then we're probably going to see what we can build, and we'll, through the most uh, more advanced stuff within the game. We're gonna have uh, some hunters spawn upon us in about a day, I think. And that's pretty much the time we're gonna get screwed. <laughs> and we're gonna go from there, you know, being screwed and everything. I guess we'll see how it goes. We have a few bullets, uh, we have two shotguns, uh, some bullets on us, some more back home. And I suppose overall we're gonna well, start from there. Now, where am I actually going to place this base unit? To be honest, I'd feel more protected, I guess, over here. Well, not necessarily protected, but it would be most efficient, considering that not only is next to the door, but also we also uh, are next to our, um, I guess, uh, crates, and we can actually use it. So let's open this up and see what's what. This is what we can build. This is our inventory. And this should be what we can actually craft. So per second, we have some power apparently. No out, just in. That's good. It's going to increase. And I have like no clue what this is. Mass. Oh, so we, this can only hold to some degree, I guess. Best lighting, wood burner, cook food, keep your base warm, and render fat into biofuel. Okay, don't mind if I do, but we do need some of these, which is apparently is mass of some sort. Or this occupies this much of the mass that you can, uh, I guess, do within your, uh, I guess, base or something. Now, a bed also has mass. I don't get this mass thing. I mean, okay, they have mass, everything has mass, but what do you care about the base? It's not gonna crumble or anything. Small power generator, we pretty much can't really build anything right now. Uh, plant bed, okay, this is good. Plant with your base. Within your base, okay. I don't really quite know how you can plant them out of base, but oh well. Without one, uh, one of these. This is a power storage. Oh, don't mind if I do. But my god, this is a lot of mass. Oh, so basically this is going to get consumed every time you're actually going to build something. So you're not going to be able to uh, to make them continuously, if you even, ha even if you have all the materials. Weapons bench. Hey, okay, that's a problem. I'm going to need way much more mass than my capacity or current capacity. Mass storage. Okay, now I see how you can uh, have more mass. And the fridge, which, oh my god, but this should be great. Recycler. Uh, Reclasses an item into mass. Okay, that's actually interesting. A mass fabricator. Converts power into mass. Okay, whatever mass is. Animal housing. Oh, this is good for chickens. Maybe rabbits too, if you can actually get, can get one. Mm, didn't manage to get a rabbit so far. I actually tried shooting one. I used about three bullets, hit him only once, and I'm still sort of sober. Well, not sober, but I'm still sort of annoyed that, well, I don't have the the rabbit. I didn't get the rabbit. And I lost two, two bullets. Well, three, but at least I used one properly. And the wheel heads. Drill for water. Okay, this is interesting. Apparently, we're gonna need to have a lot of water, so it's kind of good that I'm starting to storage some uh, normal water bottles instead for co combining them with berries. I think I only have about four, but even so, <laughs> it's something we could do. Wow, this is a lot of, uh, of stuff. Prepares damage base items. Okay, so they do get them. Oh, lockpicks, there we go. Iron fragments. Yeah, I guess we can. Make some of these with whatever thing we're actually gonna be able to work with the forge if we have one. And lockpick. Loot crates. Yeah, it's gonna help loot the bigger crates, I guess. 
Um, oh, and this is actually lockpick that the thing already gives us, I think. Okay, and a sofa. Purely cosmetic. Or you maybe want an armchair, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna build this like never. <laughs> Uh, all the rest are pretty much just as they say. One of the few, uh, I guess, the, not the few, the first things we're gonna need probably this to transform the fat into biofuel, as well as having uh, heat inside the, the base. It's going to consume a lot of the power as well. A bed, uh, chen, church up response within your base. What? Charges up response within your base. I don't have response in my base, I hope. Oh, I think when you die, you respawn within your base. So this is like one of the most important, but my god, I need like 10 feathers. I only have like two because I made clothes. Uh, we're better equipped, I guess. In case you didn't know, yeah, we have better gear, the second type. Because we couldn't really quite get cotton. I don't know if you can get a rabbit to get like its cotton tail, but <laughs> plant bed. This is actually pretty important as well because we have cotton seeds. So I'm gonna need like 500 power. Okay, so basically we can't really do shit now. <laughs> Excuse the language, but that's the truth of it. Now that way I did see a crate. It's still there, but we do have a wolf around here. You know what, I'm gonna close the the door. Well, two things are going to happen now since we've managed that, uh, or actually crafted that command unit or whatever. That, for one, that is a beacon. You'll always know where base is at. That was weird, I thought I saw a shadow of sorts. And also, oh crap, that's going to follow me in him. Is gonna come for us most likely. There's another bear over here. Well, we couldn't circle it around, I guess, through here. No, he kinda let us alone. Okay. Hopefully. When you growl twice, if you stay too long, they will follow you. Sometimes they follow you directly, especially if you're too close. Like I'm on next to this bear, and he has a crate nearby. At least we're getting some fibers, probably. We have a lot of berries on us. We ate a bunch, but if you drink the water, you're getting, I guess, to some extent more nutrition than if you go. Oh, there are like two crates and some fiber. Not bad. So, two things are going to happen now that we have uh, opened up a nice crate there. Um, that actually wouldn't really open up with. Oh, a lot of bullets. What's going on? Now that the hunters are going to be upon us, we get more bullets. Okay. I guess it's a, a tad logical. Did that wolf go away? Because I think he was going away from that crate. I think there was a crate there, right? No, apparently there's not. Okay, whatever. So we're going to have a beacon on our base now. And we're also... <laughs> this respawned, apparently. And we're also going to have... Um, Hunters that will spawn in about a day, at least that's how I know it happens, or how it goes. Hopefully they're not gonna find us first. We wanna want to find them first, and other things. We will only hope that they're gonna go up norther than our own base. So they'll go into the more uh, colder area, you know. Uh, that way maybe they're gonna get more damage and we're gonna have they're gonna have like more of a difficulty to develop and for us gonna be more time to overcome them. I do have a plan towards them in a sense, I guess. Oh crap, where the heck are you? I think he's beneath the rock or something. We're well, not be beneath but behind, like in the valley. I would like to build near their base, I would like to get their base, or find their base, as they are actually building it. It should take a time, some time, to do that for them. So it should be pretty cool for us, and give us enough time to do it. So, uh, I wanna make like, uh, one, uh, what is it called again? Not base, uh, base structure, but... The foundation, yeah, one foundation with a ceiling and two walls so like a corner of their base in case they're not gonna figure out that that's not there 
well, we're gonna have the upper hand against them. Whatever they're gonna store inside their house, I'm gonna be able to destroy one wall uh, anytime I want to. And I'm gonna be able to get inside their base, especially if they're not there. That should quite give us an edge. We're gonna get their stuff. Unfortunately, it seems this stuff is not that great. They don't, don't really have that much stuff usually. When you kind of kill one of them, it seems they don't really quite drop that much. Even though they had like bullets and everything, you know, they were shooting at you. When you get them, you get only, I guess, lesser than a crate even. That's how I've been told. And that's how much I've read about. But I don't really quite know. I don't know for those guys. Uh, what patch they were actually playing and what change into mine so you know I guess we're gonna see now we're gonna be I think about two or three episodes until uh, they're actually going to spawn well hopefully not but who knows I think I see another crate no that th that type of flower always fools me there's a type of uh, fern like this one that in the distance to me it looks like a edge of a crate although apparently it's not Usually crates have animals nearby. Uh, so that's kind of not so good. It's uh, kind of a, I guess, downside, bad thing, whatever you call it. That you, when you loot, you stay with your face to your ground. Another thing that I can actually tell you guys, that's quite important, I guess. We have three bases. Well, actually, we have one base, sort of an outpost. And a smaller refuge. Yeah, that's how to call them. This would be the second, that would be the refuge. Uh, no, actually, that's the outpost. Wow, two animals in the pie. And that would be the uh, the refuge over there. The refuge are mostly built of the smallest of them all. It's a uh, two. Uh, not base unit. I always say base for foundations. I don't even know why. So it's uh, two foundations. Uh, the other one, the I guess the medium one, it's four foundations. One next to each other. Of course, how else? And what I saw, plant. Yeah, I did see a plant. I'm getting them with the corner of my eye about now. Since I actually played this game, I played a lot. All the, I guess I think you saw like all the materials we had. It took a long time to actually get them. You get some from the crates. I get it. I get it. I guess. But most of them. Uh, you end up uh, by getting yourself. Oh no, I'm just gonna eat all of these. We have a lot of this as well. We don't have that much protein and when you don't have protein you kinda ran out of uh, juice fast, <laughs> I would call it. We barely hunted any. Most of the protein I had is from protein bar and they don't give that much, I'll tell you that. But we had quite luck and we got a few. The fact that now we have a beacon on our base is quite helpful. Well, we didn't really quite get lost, but we had a few encounters. Well, I wouldn't call it encounters, but I guess run for loot. That about two, two of them that uh, ended up of us making a fire and sitting on a rock somewhere above, so we don't quite really get know, jumped by any animals nearby. Wasn't that fun, especially since we consume materials for doing that. And they're quite precious, they don't get them that easily, and that's not the plan that I've saw. Great. Okay. We have a lot of rope, we have a lot of logs, we have some planks, not so many. But we have a few. Oh, actually, it was a plant. And, well, that would be about it. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, and there's another one over here. Okay. So, mind if I do. I think I see a third one there. Fiber is pretty important. We have some rope right now, so we're not really in a... I don't know. We don't need it that much, but you may never know. Especially with all the building we're supposed to do. Uh, if uh, to build something from that base command unit needs planks, you're gonna use fiber to make the plants. And afterwards, when you're going to build a thing, it's quite possible it's gonna ask for rope. I didn't quite look on that. It's just uh, kind of forming the theory in my head right now as I'm speaking, and I'm thinking that I'm gonna need a shit ton of uh, fiber. But we have a few, so we're doing quite well. I would have actually liked to have like, like another base over here. Uh, when you plant, when you plant, when you build a base, I don't know quite sure, I'm not quite sure, oh shit, about this, but it seemed to me that things start to spawn less nearby. So if you have a base like here, 
it's quite... I think I saw a plant. I may be wrong though. Yeah, apparently I'm wrong. Uh, it's, it's quite possible... Well, not animals, those will spawn, but the other part, the, the materials, they don't really quite seem to spawn as uh, normally. Then again, I may be just wrong and maybe just circumstance or happenstance or whatever you want to call them. That's a big bear over there. I don't know what level it is. I do want these. I think there's potassium one and the other one looks like potassium, but could be iron. And I think it's potassium as well. Yeah, it's potassium. No clue what they're used for. Mm, haven't quite gotten there. Well, with only the only with the uh, uh, command base unit you can get there. I'm gonna break my leg, uh, legs if I jump from here, but I don't want to encounter that wolf. And I don't want to go inside. Okay, he already saw us, and apparently it's a bear at that. And the wolf. Oh shit! What in God's name is wrong with you guys? Well, at least the wolf went away from the pathway to the base. That should help us encircle him a bit. I don't want to fight, not necessarily. If I'm going to get run out, chased out, or whatever, I may convert to fighting. Pretty much used all my stamina over here. We should cut a tree. That's the best way to use the time that it's required for you to rebuild your stamina. We do have a stamina or an adrenaline kit and only about two health kits because if I get killed I don't want them uh, hunters to have like my resources and I do have enough stuff back at home at least at this point don't know in the future oh crap there's like a ton of animals around here uh, so I do have enough stuff to actually build more kits not too many but just enough to actually give me the edge I need to be honest, if you get to the point that you're gonna use the cat, you should have just died anyways, I suppose. They're there for a reason, you know, to help you out, but still, you should play in such a way that you don't quite need them. And I'm kind of imagining now that as I'm saying this, I'm gonna use a ton of them and probably die anyways. Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the hunters are gonna rip us a new one. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's IE, so they pretty much always know where we are or something like that. That's how I'm figuring stuff. That's why they usually seem to build their bases not too far away from you. They have sort of a radius that they usually follow. Okay, this is quite nice. We found another crate. We had some really good luck with crates in the past runs. This time around doesn't seem to be that actually extraordinary so far. But we're doing quite nice. Maybe I should have ate that. Only two? Where's it? Oh, it's actually three. And we have found like no or none of those um, crates, you know, uh, locked crates. They, you can't really find them that easily. Sometimes I actually think I fought, uh, found like three of them. I think it was actually in a clip. And other times you run like all over the place and you can't find even one. Well, since we couldn't really quite open them, I'm not that mad. But even so. So mostly, most of the time I'm just doing like uh, shotgun shells and if there's like only a few of the materials left, just enough to make one or two bullets for the pistol, I go for the pistol. Now this is our, I guess, secondary base. Is that a crate? No, that's a healing plant. Uh, it looked weird, I didn't quite figure out. I thought maybe it's like a new type of uh, crate, you know? And I should not let my door open. That's just going to permit the hunters to settle in, I guess. I don't really quite mind, because I can always destroy a wall and rebuild it. I think the door would be most uh, welcome. I have no clue if the hunters can actually open up my doors. That would kind of suck. This is the base, main base. I don't have a roof on it. I'm not going to put a roof on it. I'm only going to have a roof on, uh, on top of uh, my main base. I'm only going to keep these things in case of emergencies, like if I'm caught on the field or I can't pass some animals and knights upon us and maybe hunters are upon us and so on and so forth. We're going to actually need to like bunk somewhere. All the fire should have uh, fuel in it. There should be filled to the brim. Should help out and be enough for pretty much a whole day. Well, wow, it's almost night upon us and we're not doing that great. We have a lot of uh, leather, most of it is from crates. We did a bit of hunting, but... Oh crap, where in guy's name is he? I think it's that one. Yeah, it's that one, level one. 
We could take him out. It's kind of nighttime, so we maybe we should. But then again, I don't really quite care about the protein so far. Uh, that's pretty much the only way I managed to stay on top of uh, my bullets. Not eating protein. It's uh, not so great stamina-wise, but when you're actually farming for mats, you don't really quite have any other choice, to be honest. I'm hoping that about tomorrow we're gonna find those uh, hunters. And until then, I should actually start to build something within the base, as well as outside of it. Now, in case they have a rifle ready, because it's quite possible, I think I've actually seen it. it too much spawn with weapons, I think. I don't know for sure. And bullet wise, I don't quite know how many they have or how do they actually get them. Normally the dev, as far as I know, said that everything they have they should build. Or that's what how I understood it. But I don't quite think it goes that way. What I saw well I saw a bear apparently. In a crate. Well I saw the bear, not so much the crate. Now I'm gonna have to go back home now. Because, well, it's kind of night time. I have no clue where my base is. There we go. I would have went that way for my base. So the beacon is quite, quite helpful overall. Oh, I think uh, we're actually sort of uh, towards one of the edges of the map. Now that sun is really in my eye, and that's a wolf there. Which I really don't want to engage, even though he has a crate over here with bullets in it. You know, you stay there, level 2, Wolfie. I don't want to fight you. I would eat you though, so, you know, keep that in mind. We're gonna pretty much make a run for it, because it's kinda night already, and I have like no clue where the hunters are settling, if they actually spawn. It's quite possible after this night cycle, they will actually appear. I think I passed a plant or something, maybe it was just a shadow. Crap, that's level 3, not, not something I wanna fight. This is copper, I kinda need it, but I don't have time for it. I still wanna go to my main base. I don't wanna be caught on any of the other places, to be honest. Don't really quite have an answer for why. Just, that's what I want. Oh uh, yeah, actually I do have an answer for why. Because it's the best place you can be, especially since now we may be able to actually build something. Well, if you're going to follow me, I may have enough stamina for it. Oh come on, hopefully I'm not gonna die like right next to my base. Well they are coming for me, they're not necessarily... They're hunting me sorta, you know. They're not really... Uh, upon me to kill me. Is that an animal there? Yeah, it's a level 3 something, that's a level 1 something and that's a crit. But it's kinda night. Yeah, um, it was a bullet crate at that, but we're gonna pass it. I don't wanna be caught into the dark. Usually nothing really bad happens when you're in the dark, especially if you have no animals nearby. They will not um, hunt you down because you're there, you know? But they will, if you if you dare near... I can't really quite put my finger on it, but I would actually say they're more vicious, you know? More uh, threatening, or I guess more aggro. But, can't really quite confirm that. Overall, you don't want to be out on dark. I hope I actually closed all my, uh, my doors until now. We still don't quite need to use the fire just yet. Because we have four grades inside the house. So there we go. What should we build first? I think I'm gonna go for the bed, to be honest. Oh, I don't have the feathers. Crap. So, then I suppose making more heat and food would go. Right. I need seven planks and some iron. Okay, let's get the planks. Uh, the planks should be in here, though. Yeah, there we go. And iron, I should have. Well, not there, but here. Just about enough. There we go. Now let's do that. It's gonna give us something at least. Craft it. Well, it's actually it's crafting quite fast. And so apparently, this is uh, the way it goes. My health is not really getting damaged, but it is one minus. Whatever that means. <laughs> okay, let's mount it up, I suppose. Uh, let's, I guess, get that. 
it's the five. Where should we set this? I don't want to set it into a window. And this could actually be our working sort of station. There we go. So it has fuel. I actually can uh, pretty much light it right now. Can I get the fuel from this one? Apparently not. So we're not going to use that just yet. Or should we? We do have work to give it to it. Render fat. Yeah, okay. Fuel ignition and nothing to actually cook. Uh, we have enough fuel for now. We're going to go with this fire. Fuel ignition. There we go. That should about cut it. I have a lot of these. We were really lucky uh, with the matches. There we go. We have like 27 right now. Only two of these though. It's going to be a pain in the ass to actually get the chickens. But if I manage to... Well, I guess even if you sort of tame them, you're just going to get eggs. That's going to be about it. Not much else. I guess I'm going to take this. The logs can stay there for now. The seeds should go back where they're supposed to. They're supposed to go there. That there. We have a lot of those. A lot of iron. There we go. We actually can craft more cordage. Not bad. I'm pretty sure nothing uses fiber directly. I can't quite see any lights. They will f make a fire. That's one of the first things they're actually going to make. Why do I say that? It's quite simple. If they don't make fire, they're going to die. And they're pretty much trained by the dev, so, you know, they don't want to die. It's probably they're not spawned yet. Maybe second time around, we'll find them. Thing is with the fire, it's going to give heat next to it, but this should actually heat the whole base. And it's quite a big base at that. Yes, I'm proud of it. What can I say? So, let me see. Bullets are over here. Oh, we're actually getting to the third stack. Okay. Don't mind if I do, actually. So, the seeds. These are... I don't even know what these are. Cotton seeds. There we go. And this is... Tomato. So, we can actually cook your own food. It's probably going to take a, a long time for it to actually cook, you know. But even so, it's kind of neat that you can. Gonna eat up that. Should give us and one more. There we go. We'll cut it. We have circuits. Actually, keep this. We're probably gonna try to build something else until uh, uh, daytime actually comes back. I don't know if we can, to be honest. I like the fact that they have logs down there, but they don't have full fuel though. So what else do I need to do? Yeah, that should be about it. Cordage we're gonna keep so we can see if we can build anything and we're really far into the episode. Let's see how this is actually faring. It is getting filled, but not so easily. Refinery. Produces raw ore. Yeah, this is something we actually really, really need. And kinda fast too. But it's probably gonna we're gonna be able to uh, get it just about next maybe sunset. So it's kinda late. The bed is quite important, but I don't have the feathers. I'm Apparently, I'm gonna have to hunt some chickens. Like, really, really bad. And uh, small power generator. This will actually really help, help. Produces power for your base. So, more power, we're gonna build stuff much easier. And to be honest, we could quite do it. And right fast, actually. We could make a couple of them, actually. I guess we're gonna see. Okay, so if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe. We're gonna try to go through all the things we can build within the base. Do a decent amount of surviving. Hopefully not gonna get ripped to shreds by the hunters. Hopefully. And we're probably gonna go from there. Who knows? That's gonna be most of our goals within the game. I don't see what else we can actually accomplish. Since we're, well, I guess, on the patches that we have so far. Hopefully there's going to be more features added to the game and that is going to give us more things to play for. With that being said, if you enjoyed the clip, give it a big like. If you want to see more, subscribe and I'm going to see you guys and gals around.